we have discussed the two main disorders that is myopia and hypermetropia. Now in this segment we will talk about few more disorders and some important things related to the eye. The next disorder is known as presbyopia. It is actually hypermetropia but that is due to old age. As we start aging the elasticity of the lens is lost and that is when this problem is caused. So it is hypermetropia that means the closer things are not visible and that is why people keep the something which is to be read at a distance so that they are able to focus it on retina. So it is actually a problem similar to hypermetropia but it is due to aging. So it is similar to similar to hypermetropia due to loss of elasticity of lens. So lens is no longer that much elastic so that it keep, its focal length cannot be adjusted and that is why this problem takes place. Correction is again using the converging lens that is the convex lens is used for correction purpose. This is presbyopia. The next disorder is known as astigmatism. Astigmatism. This is due to different curvatures or thickenings of cornea or lens. So this defect is due to different curvature or thickness of cornea or even different curvature of the lens. Now whenever these kind of problems are there then in some areas the image is formed in front of retina and in some cases it is formed behind retina. The correction is done by this is for correction. So here also correction is by using cylindrical lenses. Cylindrical lenses are used for correction of astigmatism. The next disorder, fifth one, is cataract. In cataract, there is opacity in the lens. Our lens is totally transparent, but it may become opaque. Now, the opaqueness or those white cloudy patches, they may appear in the center of the lens. Then it is known as nuclear cataract or it may appear towards the periphery of uh, the lens. Then it would be called cortical uh, cataract because that is the cortex part or the outer part. So, depending upon where these cloudy patches are appearing, uh, we can name it nuclear or cortical cataract. Here, the lens becomes opaque. Now, there is only one solution to this is replacement. So, correction is done by replacing the lens. So, this opaque lens is removed and the new proper transparent lens is implanted. Next disorder is known as glaucoma. Glaucoma is caused due to a pressure which is known as interocular pressure which builds up in the eye. We, when we were talking about the structure of the eye, we said there is a small canal which is called canal of Schlem. This canal drains all the extra aqueous humor. But if the canal of Schlem gets blocked, the aqueous humor builds up. It starts pressing the lens and the lens starts pressing the vitreous humor and ultimately the pressure is exerted on retina. So the cells, that is rod cells, cone cells, they get damaged and it can lead to blindness. Blockage of canal of Schlem. This gets blocked and there, there is pressure built up. So, intraocular pressure 
increases and that results into blindness. There are certain medicines available which can help in draining of that aqueous humor or even the canal of the schlem can be opened up. The next defect is actually the defect of the eyeball muscles. It is commonly known as squint or strabismus. This is due to improper uh, working or weakening of certain muscles. Say if we are talking of rectus muscle. We have seen that internal and external rectus muscles, they help in movement of the eyeball sideways. So when we have to look on one side, the external rectus of one eyeball and internal rectus of the other eyeball, they have to contract at the same time so that both the eyeballs move in one direction. But if one muscle say is weak, so this external rectus contracts, the eyeball properly moves and this muscle is weaker, so this eyeball doesn't move that perfectly. So there is a small uh, variation and that is known as squint. It can be corrected by surgery at an early age. Now, these are the disorders which are associated with the human eye. We will talk of two more important terms, though they are not associated with human eye. One important term is pectin. This pectin is a vascular pigmented structure which is found in the eye of birds except kiwi. So all birds they have this pectin and it is believed to, to be helping in accommodation. It is found in the vitreous chamber. It is a vascular pigmented structure which extends from the optic nerve, the place from where the optic nerve originates, that is blind spot into the vitreous humor. And it is believed that it is probably helping in the power of accommodation. All birds have it except for kiwi. Another important thing which all of us we have seen, experienced and we many a times get really amazed why and how this happens. During night, when the light is flashed on the eyes of some animals like dogs, cats or even cattle, then in their case, the eyes, they glow. This is because of presence of a layer, a reflective layer. Reflective means it is acting like mirror. So this reflective layer is known as tapetum callosa. It is reflective, not refractive. It is a reflective membrane and it is present between retina and choroid. And its function is to reflect the complete light onto retina. And that is why when we flash lights on the eyes of these animals, this light which is falling on this layer, that is tapetum callosum, it is reflected. And that is why this light is coming back towards us and we see those eyes glowing. Similar layer is present in elasmobranchs. Elasmobranchs means cartilaginous fishes. So in case of them, there is a layer. But again, that layer is not called tapetum callosum, it is known as tapetum lucida. So let me write it here. Tapetum lucida. It is found in, its location is same, function is same. It is found in elasmobranchs. And it is made up of or it has crystals of guanine. Crystals of guanine are present in this layer. So, these two are very important things. Pectin, many a times questions have been asked on pectin that which animals normally have these uh, structures. And exception is also asked because there's only one exception that is kiwi. The eyes of kiwi, they don't have this pectin. 
and this tepetum callosum because of which the eyes of these animals they glow in uh, dark when we flash lights on them it is because of a reflective mirror like layer which is between retina and choroid so when the light falls on it they reflect it back on to retina and that is what we see so that is tepetum uh, callosum found in most of the animals like cats, dogs, even cows, buffaloes. But in case of elasmobranch, there is a similar kind of layer with the same function. It has crystals of guanine and the name is also different. It is known as tapeta lucida. So with this, we are done with the structure functioning of human eye, even the defects of human eye and some more important things.